Washington, D.C. The United States Capitol lies just north of the 37th parallel. And on Saturday, July 19th, 1952, it was the site of a major UFO event. At 11.40 p.m., air traffic controllers at Washington National Airport and Andrews Air Force Base detected seven unidentified flying objects on their radar screens. There were multiple witnesses to UFO sightings over Washington, D.C. At the time this was happening, we had UFOs hovering over the nation's capital. This is David Brinkley in the radar room at Washington National Airport. On these radar screens last Saturday, they saw something strange and unusual and at the moment unexplainable. It was not an airplane, it was not a cloud, nobody knows what it was. The UFO sightings caused a sensation and incredibly, more unidentified objects were detected again the following weekend. This time, fighter jets were scrambled to intercept the UFOs. But as they closed in, the objects reportedly vanished. There was a series of sightings of these objects over the Capitol in Washington, D.C. for two weekends in a row. There were some really very difficult reports that got the U.S. government very concerned. Although many have tried to say that these were possibly weather phenomena that were being seen on radar, air traffic controllers there in Washington were also seeing lights where these objects were appearing on radar. It was at this point in history the dawn of the Cold War, that President Harry Truman established a policy of government secrecy that has come to be known as the national security state. But could it be that the U.S. government learned about an extraterrestrial presence on Earth around this very same time? Some UFO researchers believe the government is aware not only of alien visitation, but also the significance of the 37th parallel and have intentionally built important facilities along that line of latitude. Some of the nation's most strategic government and military installations are located near the so-called UFO superhighway, including Fort Knox, which protects the National Gold Reserve, Nellis Air Force Base, a center for advanced combat training, and Cheyenne Mountain, an underground facility that is home to both the Space Force and the North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD. Cheyenne Mountain, this is the head of NORAD. It's hollowed out. There's a city inside it. There's elevators and cars and trains and banks of computers and people are living there. Perhaps the most mysterious military facility along the 37th parallel is an Air Force base in the Nevada desert called Area 51. It has long been rumored that crashed alien craft retrieved from Roswell and other locations are stored and studied at this highly secure installation. Area 51 is a secretive Air Force installation near Groom Lake, Nevada, which has been shrouded in mystery for decades. It wasn't until 2013 when the CIA finally revealed documentation that acknowledged the existence of Area 51. It's been the place of the birth of the U-2 spy plane, the B-2 stealth bomber. But we also have many stories that UFOs have been seen coming in and out of the base. We've had stories that UFOs were reverse engineered at Area 51 as well. The military remained tight-lipped on all the presumed UFO and extraterrestrial activity that happens in or around Area 51. But UFOs and UAPs have been seen around that area, not just from eyewitnesses on the ground, but also from commercial airline pilots. Area 51 lies on the 37 parallel. Now, you would wonder, is that on purpose? Is it maybe because of the activity? Now, we know that there's strange craft that have been seen in and around the area. Are they experimental, or is this something that 
happens by there. It's a very mysterious area. Could important government installations have been built near the 37th parallel for a specific purpose? And if so, does this serve as further evidence that something unusual is going on along the so-called UFO superhighway?